our church has been worshipping here for nearly 25 years and God's done some amazing things in this place over that time. But we know that this building has its limitations when you think about the facilities for our kids and youth ministry, uh, the kitchen and, of course, the toilets. Uh, so a couple of years back, we put together a master plan of how we might modify this building um, so that this church can continue to thrive here for the next quarter of a century. Then last year, and Andy's already mentioned the generosity of this congregation, last year we all participated in the Daring Faith campaign and God moved mightily in many people's hearts and there was uh, pledges towards that, uh, uh, that building campaign of about a million dollars and uh, to get us started on towards that, uh, that master plan that we outlined. And since then, we've been working out just how far we can stretch that money and what the, real, the priorities are, and, um, and now we're getting ready to make a start. So the things that we're focused on in this phase one of the project are three, three things that are going to really improve our ministries uh, operating out of this church. First of all, we're going to uh, transform the hall, uh, make it a lot less industrial and a lot more functional for ministries, particularly kids and youth ministries. We're going to double the size of the kitchen and toilets, of course. We're going to uh, double, not only no, double the number of toilets, but we're going to have separate dedicated kids' toilets in the kids' ministry area and adults' toilets uh, closer to the auditorium. Okay, those are the three big changes you'll see happening. Now, over the last month or so, uh, there's been a lot of people working very hard to get ourselves ready to hand over to the builder. And I do want to say a special uh, thanks to the staff and also a number of volunteers who have been instrumental with that. Uh, Keith, thank you, uh, as well as uh, Adam and uh, Terry and Glenn and Steve and Barry uh, have all been wonderful in their support. And I'm sure there are others that I've forgotten, so apologies for them uh, in terms of getting us set for this handover for the builder, which we expect to happen this week. Okay, so next week, church is going to be different. Now, this renovation project we're going to undertaking is going to take the better part of a year. Church isn't going to stop through that time, but it will operate differently. So, for example, the front door we regularly use isn't going to be available to us. So when you come to church, you're going to be coming in through the northern car park, through the double glass doors next to the foyer. Okay? And we've already lost some pews over here on the far right-hand side to put in some extra storage behind those uh, panels so that we can store the things that we need to whilst the rooms are otherwise occupied. Kids ministry and youth ministry is going to operate in the office pl open plan area with access through the main office doors. All right? Um, and, of course, toilets. We're going to have uh, port loos including a disabled toilet, uh, available for us in the northern car park. So that will all be st happening starting as of next week. So I do want to say... Um, uh, briefly also that a, a big uh, a thank you to those people that did contribute through the Daring Faith campaign and the pledges that were made over a three-year period last year. And I thank you to you and also an encouragement to you to continue with those pledges uh, over the remainder of the, the three years so that we can carry this project through to through fruition. Uh, and if you were not here last year or you weren't able to participate last year, it's not too late. You'll find Daring Faith cards in the pews in front of you and some information in the, in the foyer. So please take one home and prayerfully consider whether this is something that you think that you can be part of um, and know that any additional uh, funds that are pledged through this campaign uh, will be going to additional things that we weren't able to squeeze into phase one. So for example, we would love to do a new children's playground, uh, but that would be next if we have the additional resources to do that. Okay, now, I'm, I'm sure there are things that we haven't thought of in our preparations, and so there'll be things that we'll have to work out as we go along. But I trust that with God's grace, these will be small hindrances and nuisances along the way as we transform this building into a, an area that will be a great future for us. So thank you for your um, uh, patience for us as we go through this project.